Uh, here at Joanna Plains, we see ourselves as a bit of a hotel for cattle. People bring their cattle in here and we look after them the best way we possibly can. We have a lot of adjustment cattle here on the paddocks, which are predominantly coming from the pastoral regions. We try and leave the cattle alone so that they're quite content and feel like they're in, an, in a normal environment. In these pens here, they're 200 metres squared per animal. Pastoral cattle enjoy this type of environment because they've got the space and eliminates the, the possibility of shy feeders. Some of the great MSA results that Nathan and his team are getting come right down to compliance. In terms of carcass quality, Nathan's cattle are really doing well in ossification. They're averaging about a 130, and the MSA marble scores are really good at about a 400 for that sort of domestic trade. The keys to our MSA results, I believe, are from a feeding regime that's consistent with quality feed input. Each day our head feeder, Jules, will come down and read the bunks to see what the cattle have done with the feed from the day before. Jules will feed anything up to 10,000 head down here. When it's 10,000 head, there's two feed wagons going, which will be a 12 hour feed. She's got a, a very good understanding of protein requirements to get the best possible result out of her cows. We mill our own wheat and our own lupins and we use straw and oat and hay with supplements and water. We let it mix all the way to the pens and we feed it out to our cattle. The reason Nathan and his team are getting such great results comes back to their backgrounding of the animals and low stress stock handling. So that once they hit the feedlot, all they're doing is growing, putting on weight and becoming excellent MSA quality carcasses. Our whole operation revolves around cattle handling and, and doing the best by the animal. We've got pastoralists now that are, are doing the low stress stock handling up on the stations and then they're seeing benefits down here at our end in the feedlot because they're getting feed conversion better or quicker than previously. If other lot feeders wanted to take a leaf out of Nathan and his team's book, it would really be back down to that backgrounding of cattle and the low stress handling. That's ensuring that they're minimising the chance of them having a high pH at slaughter. At the end of the day, if we're seeing results coming through the MSA grading system, it shows that our system and, and program is working correctly. As the industry strives to get better in everything that they do, so do we.